Hey, sneaky Alex back tonight. And tonight we're going to show you how to use XFID cap properly. Now I've heard that some people have said it's really difficult to use. Well, it's a bit more different than we call my desktop. But it's just as simple, maybe a bit more basic. Now we've got it up here. And first you unlock it with the keys. Then you can drag your capture box around to wherever you want. Now there's a little bit of trouble there. This is the most difficult bit about it, actually. You're getting the lines exactly where you want them. But I'm going to do a full screen one here. You can actually save your preferences anyway, so don't worry about it too much. You've just got to do full screen all the time. Not a big deal, really, eh? So anyway, there we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Recall your next vid cap. Lovely. So, we want to find something to capture first, don't we, really? So, I'm going to open Chrome up. Click on the old box. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Ready goes. And when the BBC wakes up, we can do something. Eventually he says. So we're going to minimise that for the time being and go and sort out some stuff with actually cap. Now of course you could start recording straight away if you wanted to but you really want to go to preferences which you need to right click and then click on preferences go to multi-frame quality 91 fraction 14 yeah you can enable audio or disable audio entirely up to you but I'll just leave it like that for the time being because it's just a simple demonstration. Okay so we're ready to rock and roll Click on start recording, and yeah, we're recording, oh yeah, minimise that, and there we go, we're ready to go. Open up the old Chrome again, and then we've got a nice little page to show you from the booker, not the quickest page in the world, so we'll go over to the iPlayer, see if that's all hunky dory we'll give it a couple of seconds, yeah, there we go, nice little quality, it's okay isn't it, bear in mind we're still recording at the moment, so that'll do, because it's just a simple demonstration of what you can do. After this you can go around and play with all the settings of whatever you want to do to get your perfect capture basically. And we'll go over to my YouTube page anyway just to make sure I'm not lying. Oh no I'm not lying, look at that. Super. Super, super. Well it's alright. I've seen better. Okay. Well that's enough really. We've captured enough. So we go back and get XFID cap on screen. You can use the keys to stop it but here I'm just going to do this so it shows you easier. Now the capture rate was terrible, but bear in mind I'm recording two captures at the same time and the old process is going, help! So we'll close him, and we'll close this with cap. Now we want to go and find the file. So I can't remember where I'll put it now. Uh, oh yeah, OK. Shortcuts. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Back cold still. Uh, oh, I can't remember where I put it. So I'll go there. No, I remember now. I'll put it in my folder, haven't I? Wally that I am. Go to my folder, and there we have the test MPEG. Now the output is an MPEG, and then you can change it AVI when you feel like it. And I'll show you that another time, basically. So, here it is, the video, playing in your screen. The one you've just captured, well, the one I just captured. And that's basically it. Nothing more to do. Simple, easy, peasy as pie. Sneaky Linux out.